platform under the name Kate Yup, officially beginning what would become one of the strangest YouTube stories of all time. The first video posted to the channel a month later would feature a small, blindfolded, anonymous individual demolishing 5 kilograms of salmon, and in the months following, Kate Yup would upload consistent seafood mukbang videos based on a similar premise. With new viewers initially intrigued by the odd nature of the videos, Kate Yup would slowly build an audience, and with such came an escalation in the extravagance and abnormality of the mukbang videos being completed on the channel. As time progressed, while she continued to maintain her anonymity, the audience got more and more curious as to who the girl was behind the Kate Yup channel. Viewers initially saw her as some quirky seafood lover who was hiding her face to avoid public recognition, but when she started to display clear physical injuries within her mukbangs, the audience began to assume a darker motive behind why she was hiding her face. Numerous out-of-the-box conspiracy theories began to mount as she would spell out secret help messages within the annotations in her videos. She would respond to the audience with strange, seemingly forced community posts, ensuring that there was apparently nothing to worry about. The nature of her channel got weirder and weirder, teeth falling out during mukbangs, whispering male voices in the background telling her to eat faster, until the 10th of November 2019, when she would post one final video and completely disappear off the internet. With the disappearance following so many mysterious events, the audience wanted answers, so they would retrace back to the point at which things started to change, hoping to figure out why on earth Kate Yup had gone missing. Anyone else notice those bruises on her arms? What happened to your arm? She acts like a crackhead with all her movements. And all the bruises? This was the video that began to raise suspicion surrounding the safety of Kate Yup. She would appear on screen in front of well over 10 million people with a clear bruise on her left arm accompanied by a deep cut on the left side of her lip. Kate, are you okay? And those bruises? Well, I was just going to tell you that I love you and take care of yourself. God bless you. People certainly showed concern. However, at this point, since nothing like this had been seen on the channel before, the audience assumed that it was a one-off and that perhaps she accidentally hurt herself in a one-off incident. However, concerns would escalate after Kate Yup posted a video titled, I lost my tooth during this meal. Spotting a correlation in physical injuries, a percentage of the audience started to assume that maybe there was something a little more sinister going on behind the scenes of her anonymous mukbang film set. The paranoid amongst her viewers began to go off into the conspiracy theory deep end. That is bruises. I heard a voice with, I will kill you. And why is she rushing? She is kidnapped. That's it, guys. She's either a hostage or a really good actress. Please Kate, don't hide your secret. We're always there for you. Let's explain what's wrong with you. The main theory was that Kate Yup had been kidnapped and was being forced to make the videos at the request of her captors. Now, as insane as this sounds, the theory spread like wildfire. Perhaps people were just looking for a bit of drama to get involved in, but the comments section across each and every Kate Yup video began to fill up with people discussing their own theories for why they believed she had been captured. The insanity of such theories led Kate Yup to refute the claim in a pinned comment on the video. Every other claim, aside from the bruise, is just silly. Why would a captor let her edit the videos? That doesn't even make sense. Her lip does not look busted. It's either a cold sore, which would explain it showing up more than once, or a bad blemish. The explanation from the Kate Yup channel was extremely reasonable. Why on earth would her kidnappers allow her to film, edit, and upload seafood mukbang videos while she was in captivity? The more realistic amongst her audience would be satisfied with Kate's explanation. Her being kidnapped wouldn't make much sense. Why would they make her post stuff that could get them caught? Two signs that your kidnapper is a good guy. He gives you a device, he gives you the Wi-Fi password. She is not well at all, but the kidnapping thing is a little ridiculous. None of this video confirms anything. However, for the more conspiratorial types, Kate Yup's pinned comment just created more 